Hi, welcome back to my channel KT from KT. In this KT, we'll start diving into the world of Gen AI by exploring vectors. We'll see how text is converted into vectors and further utilized for various things like training LLM models, semantic search and much more. We'll start by a simple example where wherein we'll choose certain set of words and get their text embedded and visualize it into space and check out similarity between those words and once we are done with that and understanding what vector is we will further proceed to employing it for one of the features which is widely used that is semantic search okay so let's just get started now we'll use python and its library to accomplish this and we'll, uh, we'll visualize our vectors using embedding projector uh, given by tensorflow so this is how uh, a vector space looks like and uh, let's just and you can if you can check out there are various labels associated with each vectors uh, say I'm uh, I'm writing apple so you can see key uh, the apple uh, nearest points uh, against apple is coming so and you can see all the words are visible here so there are labels and there are vectors associated with each word Okay, so that's how this is already there now what we'll do is we'll generate or to simplify it considering there are many words and many different relationships built in this particular uh, example we'll build our own example a simplified version of it okay and uh, this is the code which you can use your uh, what we are doing you are uh, we are using sentence transformer uh, which is a model that helps us creating text embedding there are various models present and hosted at hugging face you can further go ahead and visit here and you can check out uh, it uh, so for example if this is the sentence it will create a vectors for this vector uh, for this sentence this is the model used there are various other models also you can further go ahead and explore okay so let's just get started we'll just uh, copy this uh, piece of code and uh, so uh, what this piece is uh, doing for you is simply just uh, using certain set of words and then for the converting it into vectors okay so let's just uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and create a python python file uh, i'll create a file generate embeddings.py okay and let's just paste whatever we have copied it what it simply it's doing is okay so what simply it is doing it it is uh, uh, loading a sentence transformer model further uh, these are the words which words or sentences which we want to encode we are creating embeddings then further uh, uh, we are just mapping or uh, writing the embeddings created or embeddings or vectors created and sentences into files sentences.tsp and embedding.tsp okay so let's just uh, we'll have to install uh, sentence transformer okay so it's the it will install sentence transformer once that is installed you can further go ahead and run this so okay so now a sentence transformer is uh, uh, installed time. what so we'll do is we'll just... simply run this uh, particular uh, python com python file and we'll be generating two files sentences and embedding.tsv okay so this these are simply tab separated files which is a requirement for a projector uh, to load any custom file so we'll just run this and uh, here note there are four words and respective vectors will be generated in embedding.tsv as you can see uh, these are the vectors generated okay and these are the sentences okay now the vectors generated and the points or the that all depends on the model you are using so i'm using this paraphrase mini lm lxv2 depending on whatever your model is the uh, extent to which 
uh, the vector uh, can capture the details or the semantics associated with it depends on the model you are using okay so let's just simply now uh, upload this uh, particular let's just upload this particular to embedding projector just load this file embeddings.tsv okay and we will also load the sentences.tsv the respective uh, and just check out the vector you can see there are uh, these are the vectors which we have created and the labels are associated now we'll check simply apple so as you can see the nearest near, nearest point which is coming to apple is orange so that's how they are related because apple and orange are fruits cat and dog are animals so if we uh, search dog uh, then the nearest is coming cat so the semantic or the meaning of these words is maintained in that vector is created and that distance is being calculated by using the uh, cosine or euclidean whatever the you want to choose you want to choose uh, this then this will be used and cosine then uh, there are two parameters on uh, there are two ways of basically calculating distance between two vectors okay so now we have visualized this data uh, we'll further we'll further proceed uh, on how this vectors uh, can be used and we'll build, build a semantic search for this now that we know what vectors are how sentences can be represented by vectors how similarity between them is identified etc let's now explore explore how vectors are useful to us so basically vectors can be utilized for a lot many rich set of features whether it be building efficient recommendation system to semantic search and for extensively and it is extensively used for nlp task uh, and moreover llms have consistently utilized vector representation as fundamental component of their architectures still not convinced well so uh, spotify utilized vector representation to build their own uh, similarity search and uh, recommendation systems as well and it has gained so much popularity just go ahead and download spotify and explore its search and uh, also go you can go ahead and uh, read uh, this documentation and how uh, near, near nearest neighbor search library is being utilized uh, in spotify okay for our use case we will build a simple example we will uh, have certain set of songs and we will try to ask a uh, give a say sad song romantic song uh, we'll try to uh, find uh, by the similarity search without giving the actual keywords keywords present in the song so that's uh, all about what semantic search is so we'll use a vector database for the same and uh, this we'll just uh, uh, store the vectors in that database and further utilize query that uh, vector database to get us fetch as the relevant result results for okay and we can use uh, for a for our for our use case we will use quadrant uh, there are multiple vector database present even the popular ones like mongodb are also extensively providing support for vector data has uh, started extending support to vector database even aerospike is so you can further go ahead and if you're not familiar with these databases you can go ahead and maybe explore those and uh, what we'll do is we, we need a docker for that i already have a docker if you don't have then you can install one it is very useful uh, for uh, experimenting with different different technologies in a like a very time efficient way okay so let's just uh, cop pull this image and go ahead we'll go to terminal and uh, just paste this it will pull the image okay so image is already there i had already pulled so it, uh, it took less time now we, what we'll do is we'll simply uh, run the quadrant okay so we have run just check out we'll check out our docker our docker is already running uh, we will go ahead and check whether this uh, quadrant image is run up and running or not as you can see quadrant image is there and we will just open open the dashboard uh, of the in the ui you can check out at six 
three three port at which a quadrant uh, vector search engine is there okay and the version and everything is related if you want to check out the dashboard of quadrant this is where you have to go and uh, you can further go ahead and uh, try this uh, there are certain set of examples given you can go ahead and check the tutorial part of it and there's a quick start available uh, you, have, you have to do nothing just uh, to run the command here the first command is basically creating a collection just run this a collection will be created for you the second is adding few vectors with a payload so bernal is a vector uh, one is a, a city and associated vector is uh, this one and the id so this is how points are being inserted in this database okay so we have a id field we have a vector and a payload field uh, on running this for uh, the entire data set will be inserted now uh, if you want to query that we can we want to tell you okay which, uh, which whichever vector is nearest to this particular vector give me an answer that's how it will give okay fine these are the answers uh, if you want to add any filters key okay uh, these are the answers but give me some something that matches with the london keyword okay so that's how uh, various search and everything can be for performed this is a basic example once your uh, collection is created you can further go ahead and check that out in the sorry uh, in the collection part of it and here you can see our test collection is there if you open it you will have uh, all the vectors which you along with the payload which you inserted by that uh, test command will be there okay so that's it for the quadrant database now uh, uh, to do the semantic search we'll write a python code it's already there for your use case it's meant uh, for your usage you can simply copy this uh, what it does what it does it connects with the quadrant uh, client creates a collection and inserts hollywood uh, songs into it and further ask a question and via similarity search it will return a relevant song associated with it that is a simple example which we will be doing let's just create a let's just create a let's just go to our id and uh, create a create a semantic search of i Okay, let's just create a Python file. Paste it here. Okay, so we will have to install our quadrant. Just install. Okay. Also, meanwhile, let me explain you the code. So this is our uh, Hollywood song. I have categorized into two categories, romantic and sad. You can add happy, uplifting, workout songs, etc. And uh, have, increase your list for experimenting. You, uh, I have even tried this out with Bollywood songs as well. So you can try that out as well. Just experiment it, uh, with it as much as you can. Change the different uh, model. So I have used this model. Uh, it was giving me a more efficient uh, result, that, result than this one because uh, of the uh, vector points that uh, size of the vector which is being utilized earlier it was around 360 and for this one it is around 768 so it is giving more uh, uh, relevant result you can change the model and uh, check out other models as well and just go ahead uh, and explore that on hugging face and uh, as i was saying um, our quadrant lines is being uh, installed and uh, this this part is creating the collection if collection does not exist with a size okay this uh, particular model will return me 768 size vector so that's the reason this is written and the distance is to be calculated using cosine you can change it to Euclidean as well uh, uh, this is the same distance which was mentioned in the projector also if you remember okay this is the index data this is where we are uh, storing the data uh, and converting into the point format that uh, earlier in the test collection was also done and this is the payload this is the vector and we are simply indexing the data and further then uh, employing the semantic search and just uh, so what we do is we just get the song and then we simply uh, we get the song and simply uh, insert it okay so let's just 
run it okay as you can see i asked ki my heart broke so it returned me a, a sad song okay now if i am trying give me a romantic song if i'm searching so remember in normal search what we do is we match the exact keyword right ki if there is a, if what if i want to say there are multiple songs related i have present uh, in my database one song is my heart will go on the other is hurt i want to want to have that exact song hurt johnny chase then only only that song will be returned if suppose i am not i don't do not remember the genre i, I do not i am not aware of the song specific terms etc i just want to hear uplifting song or a sad song and i type it so i need a song that are relevant to my search and not the exact search so that's when semantic search helps us when we are not aware exactly what we are searching we are just aware of the context we are searching and it is helpful in recommendation also because it will uh, analyze the data you, which you have searched and depending on your preferences it will customize the uh, response accordingly okay uh, okay let's just type this and experiment with it let's see what it will return cool so when i search uh, the genre uh, genre romantic song it was written my heart will go on etc so that's how you can change it uh, to different uh, query you can change the query and the, depending on the query your response will return uh, change you can limit also okay, how many responses you have to return so here i have uh, written only one response you can increase the limit to more than one you can do other things uh, the way you are in, uh, ingesting the data you can change some alteration that uh, you can increase the number of bullet songs you want and further go ahead and experiment with any type of data and uh, you will get to know more and more about it the more you experiment more you will get to know about it okay and to check out the uh, that uh, the cotton db as well what we'll do is we'll simply go ahead and check in the ui key what was the collection so this was the collection and in uh, i inserted in hollywood song then you can check out key all the songs are being inserted so that's how we did a semantic search and to know more about it you can basically um, go ahead and check the about it use cases part of it and you can check out key, okay there are multiple use cases which we can use using uh, which uh, which utilizes vector databases and uh, can be used as for such as food discovery so suppose uh, there are multiple demos also available in this quadrant tech as well what you can do is say, suppose i want to search uh, vegetarian Okay, so all the vegetarian or the green food is coming here okay now suppose if i search uh, because word is not there so in the language itself is different but it, it's it is getting the context key what i am searching okay now if i am trying to search say junk food mm -hmm. so i've uh, uh, have basically uh switched off that part of it so if when i search junk food only junk food is coming and if i want recommendation the previous search will also be included so if i've searched vegetarian first and junk food next time so it will be so okay fine i eat vegetarian food also and junk food also so that's how it will change the recommendation part of it there are other use cases also which you can explore by just going ahead and exploring this so it is very useful uh, to make you understand ki how you can utilize for your own real world cases okay so that's it for today's domain. Happy learning.